everybody, it's Matt from Dollar Bridge Cool Sayings here and today I'm going to show you my BR Go Shooter deck. So the front side of the leader is activate main, once per turn you choose one Sun Goku BR or one Vegeta BR, they, they have to be red. So um, and you place those in the drop area, you draw two cards and then you take a life. So that's your self awakener and it gains you cards. So pretty damn good way of awakening and it's a very um, controlled way of doing it and you don't lose the cards but you don't lose out the cards you discard because you're getting one back anyway and then it's awakening is drawing a card and you get one energy back so the awakened side is when it attacks it draws a card it doesn't have to specify where it attacks so you can attack a battle card you can attack a leader and you still get to draw the card and is activate battle, sorry, battle, that bit main, right, okay. Um, I think I was doing it activate main during the game. Yeah, I was, yeah, that's quite bad. Um, but, obviously you could see that I was doing the effect anyway when I swung with it. Um, I think it's supposed to be so you can, if your opponent's going to gate, kind of scenario, you can just be like, yeah, I'm not doing the effect. Um, but luckily in my scenario that, did, that didn't happen anyway. But yeah, so it is active battle guys, bear that in mind. Um, so once per turn you choose one red card from your hand and place it in the drop area. If there are two or more of the Sun Goku VR or, uh, or two or more of the red VR cards in your drop area, um, for this turn this card gains double strike and 5k and you can only kind of make counters that cost two or more so they can't put over you or preemptive strike, I think it's possible. That's the green one, yeah. Um can't really think of anything else. Uh Rakuma Racer gun? Oh <laughs> <laughs> they're the only ones that could really come to mind, I can't think of anything else. Um if there is more then there's more, but either way, I it's okay for that. I mean I'd rather it say just counting in general, but that'd be too OP I suppose. Um, Alright, so on to the main part of the deck then. Now, go as usual for the extra cards first. <laughs> right, so to start off with, we've got the uh, four negates in there. So, uh, this is the newest one from the actual set. Uh, I think pretty much this entire deck is made up from the set. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here that's prior. Uh, and I will find out then. Um, so it's cost one red, counter attack. If your leader card is red, so it doesn't specify what type of red, so baby I would love this card. Um, <laughs> you negate your attack, then you choose one red card from your hand and place it in the drop area. And why not have done that? Did I do that? I don't think I did. Um, oops, that's my bad. Uh, so I might have done a slight um, misplay with that, so that's my bad guys. Uh, so you, yeah, you choose one red card from there and place it in the drop area. Then you choose two of your opponent's battle cards and they gain minus 15 for the duration of the battle. Battle? Okay. So, yeah. That's my bad. Uh, yeah, so I missed it the cost during that, which is probably would have cost me the game maybe towards the end. Because I wouldn't have had the cards in hand. Um, I don't know. That, that, yeah, but yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, and then for the other extra cards, we got Transcendent Strike. So, cost one red, activate main. If your leader card is red, so no restriction, I'm going to be in a red leader. You choose one of your opponent's power costs uh, with 20k power or less and KO it. So, it can KO quite a good portion of the opponent's power cards. Um, so on to the main deck then, we've gone with just four copies of each of the one drops for the BRs. Uh, they basically have exactly the same effect. So the Fujita searches the Goku or Veku, um, up the top three, um, that's the rest of the bottom, and then obviously the just vice versa. So pretty much that for the deck, so it's an easy way to remember how to work the effects, but they do go to the bottom, it's one thing you always got to bear in mind, uh, which I did forget a lot 
prior, but this like auto think is two shuttle. Like that's what you normally do, isn't it? As an auto think card games normally. Um, but then we go on to the two cards. So we got four super combos. I just went with the um, your standard if you've got four or less life. Draw a card one uh, for this and did it from this set. Uh, and it's also a 10k one. Anyways, without the draw. So that's always good. And then we've got the Preemptive Strike, which is the number two drop. So there's only three copies of this one. Uh, this is the obviously the Goku version, I do have the Goku version, but let's cover this one first. So Auto Sparkling 2, when you play this card, you look at the top five cards on top of there. You can get one Gogeta BR or Vegeta BR, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So that's one way of shuffling your deck. His activate main, once per turn, you can gain 5k for the turn. And then, I forgot to mention this, sorry guys. For the one drop, they, they all kind of had the same effect where at the end of turn they return to the hand. This is, and all of them have that effect. It's so you can do your fusions, this is better than the old one. Because obviously you can keep your resources, you can play them out and then still do the fusion. Uh, so the Grand Strike for GF has got the same first effect as the Goku, so it's just the rhyming theme for there. But his activate main is once per turn you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and it gains minus 5k. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, on to the free drops. There is a lot for this deck. I think the good, good portion of the deck is basically the free drops, because uh, that's where most of the um, good stuff is, depending on how you play it out. Um, so we've got three copies of the Harmonic Energy Vegeta and three copies of the Harmonic Energy Sun Goku. So we'll go into the Goku first. So Sparking Dury. You look at the top seven, and you can get a red Vegeta VR and put it into play in rest mode, and then shuffle your deck. Uh, the Vegeta does the same thing, but obviously for Goku. But they don't search out Gogeta or Veku like the other ones do. And then this one is activate main once per turn. You can gain 10k and attack things in active mode, and then at the end of the turn, it comes back to hand. The Vegeta is activate main once per turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignore barrier, and it gets minus 10k motivation a turn. So Vegeta's got the thing of killing cards, and Goku is the one against the power. Okay, and then on to the other three drops, we've got three of each copy of the Veku. So we've got the three copies of the Fragile and three of the Under Pressure. So Union Fusion for no cost other than using a Goku and a Vegeta VR. Um, this card can attack cards in active mode, so that's always a good thing as well. That's a permanent. And then Auto, when you play this card, you can't play another copy of himself for the turn, which is perfectly fine. And then his activate main is you place this card in its own drop area. If the leader card is a red Saiyan, so that's where the restriction on that comes in, which is perfectly fine because you're using this leader anyway. Uh, it also does mean you can't use the blue Goji from the dash pack type thing, the Broly pack thing. Um, so, yeah, so then you choose one Sun Goku uh, and one Vegeta VR from your drop area and add them to your hand. Um, so basically you can swing with it, back your fusion with it, sack it off and get the cards you just used to make it back to your hand. Um, the fragile one is got the same union fusion type thing. Uh, it's got the same auto where you can't play another copy of itself for the turn. Uh, but this one is actually main is you do the same things you do with the other Veku where you sack it off. Uh, but he's got a slightly more effect where he can choose an opponent's battle cards and give it minus 10k power. So one can attack active cards, the other one gives minus power. And then we have the one copy of Weast the Instructor. So it's a 5k combo but it is a cost of one. 
and when you combo with it, you can get Vegeta and um, one Son, Son Goku VR card, Vegeta card, Vegeta VR card, or Gogeta VR card, and you drop any of them to your hand. So you can get your targets back to fusioning if they were discarded a lot earlier on with your leader and you need targets, or if you've been critted and you've lost a Gogeta, or you've comboed with it, it's just a way of getting those kind of cards back, which is great. Uh, you would like to have more winner decks, but we didn't get more. Um, but I'm not 100% sure what we'd swap out to add the extras. But that would just be it. If we had it, we'd sit down and go through it and make sure we'd get it in. Um, so on to the six drops. Uh, I personally feel like because of the um, the cost of some of these other Gogetas, the um, basically the seven drops and above, because they kind of require you to go on to six cost Gogeta, you have to kind of run four of this card. Uh, if you run less, you're relying on getting the card effects to see it, which is perfectly fine. Um, but honestly, I feel like it is a four of them deck just for that consistency purposes. So he has double strike, Union Fusion, he does cost four, so he is the only Union Fusion in a deck that has such a high cost. But it is worth it because his permanent, um, you can't play this card uh, from any area unless your leader card is Saiyan. Um, yeah, and there are, are no other cards. Yeah, no other, no other color. So yeah, no other color. Um, then this card can't be KO'd and can attack cards in active mode. So that's always great. And then auto once per turn, when this card attacks a battle card, this card can switch to active mode. So you can swing something in active mode, and then do it once per turn to put it back in active, and then you just go onto EX evolving after you already swung with it. Um, him drawing your two cards is fantastic as well. So he gains you the, the two cards you use to make him that you can't get back, you gain by drawing anyway, so it's not a loss. Uh, is, is fantastic. Uh, on to the 7 drop. This is the only 7 drop in the deck. Um, decided to only go with 2 of this one. Um, so it's EX Evolve for one, end, 1 red energy and you evolve it onto a 6 drop. So there's no reason why this or there is another Koji that has to go to a 6 drop. Like I said before, it's all about that consistency. Um, this one has triple strike, auto sparking 10. Uh, when a card evolves into this card, your opponent cannot activate skills on battle cards for the duration of the turn. So, that's just fantastic. And because it affects um, all, your, all your battle cards, it just really, really helps. I'm trying to think of what skills would be relevant. Um, no. I don't know. I might be wrong on that. If I'm wrong on that, then it's the only one that comes to mind. If it is, I don't know. I might be wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Or if you know other cards, just tell me. Um, so, on to the eight drops. We've gone with two copies of the critical combination. This is the one that came in that um, Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission game for Switch. So, if you didn't get that, or then you can have to, then you want to run this you'll have to try and get it through other means like buying it off ebay so on and so forth um but because i did get the game got it obviously you get the leader as well but this is like this which is the better leader to use anyway um so triple strike dual attack that already is fantastic and he's a 35 so it's like 35 triple okay 35 triple damn you live through both okay um so then he has a permanent. If your leader card is Gogeta VR card and your life is two or less, reduce the energy cost in, this in your hand by four. So it's similar to the secret from Clash of Fates, the red freezer one, where it can come out for cheaper. So instead of an A drop, you can bring him out for a four drop and find a lot of pressure. On to the last card deck, we've gone with three copies of the um, Fusion Onslaught. That's pretty messy up. It does look really nice. Um, so this is another finisher for the deck. And absolutely fantastic. 
because this EX Evolve is you're just choosing two cards to get rid of, and then you go one to one. And that's got an energy cost of six, so energy six cost one. Uh, he's got a double strike, Venomant, it can't be KO'd, and he can attack cards in active mode. So it basically means if you don't kill your opponent with this, um, they attack it, it's like, well, if you attack, you can't KO it, so I don't really care. And they can't KO it through skills. The only way to get rid of it is using a card that says send without targeting, basically, in that kind of sense. Um, the only thing that really comes to mind from that one is the Overrealm Bardock from ages ago. It just clears your opponent's board. It's one way around them. Um, so he's got two autos. Of, his first one is, when a card evolves to this card, if there are no battle cards that can play in your opponent's battle area, choose up to two cards in your opponent's life and place them in the drop area. You can't play another copy again for the turn. So, if your opponent has no battle cards in play, their life is really low, you can potentially kill them. Uh, I think that's the kind of the idea behind this being able to attack cards in active mode. So you're supposed to, if they've only got one battle card, you're supposed to swing at it, try and get it off the board. If their life's low enough, play back and kill them with its effect, if you can. And then he's got another auto, when his card attacks a battle card, switch his card to active mode. So he can get clear a card off the board and then swing with the leader. So that's great. Um, so that is my Gogeta VR deck. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.